Framing the camera, standing on my tippy toes, not standing on my tippy toes. I'm not that short actually. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jenny and today I'd like to invite you to join my April book club. I've read quite a few books in April and if you have an opinion or a review on it, please let me know because I'd love to check it out. So here we go! I started off the month by finally finishing The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. That was definitely a long run. I think I read this book over five months. The story is about a small British town called Packford and one of their council members, Barry Fairbrother, dies and it revolves around different citizens of the town and how they handle the situation after his death. This book is definitely very, very character driven and the plot is not always very exciting at some points. It, you could describe it as very mellow throughout most of the book. But the ending, oh my god, the ending. The ending just pulled the story 10 levels higher and I'm not gonna spoil you here, but it was definitely worth the read. So if you like a story with a lot of really well-developed characters and real-life problems, then do go check it out. Next off, I read The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I've already done a review on this book. I'll link it at the end of the video so you can go check it out if that interests you. The book takes place in a future dystopian America and a disease has broken out and killed off almost all the kids. And the children that are left are left with supernatural abilities, but the government is scared of them so they basically round them all up and put them in rehabilitation. Camp. And the plot follows a girl named Ruby and how she manages to escape one of her camps and her adventures and revelations afterwards. Overall, I really really enjoyed reading this book. It is a very interesting story and um, quite dark at some points, as the title might suggest. But it's part of a series and left off with a small cliffhanger, so we will see how the story progresses. My third book in April was The Selection by Kira Cass, and I know I'm very late to jump on this train. And I think that this book has been on my to-read list for over a year now. I don't know what took me so long. For the handful of people who haven't read this book yet, the story revolves around this country named Aaliyah. I still don't know how to pronounce his name. And the prince has come of age and needs to take a wife. In order to find a wife, there's this selection process called the selection, in which all the girls around the country are able to apply and 35 get chosen and then they fight for the affection of the prince. It's a lot of girliness, a couple of cat fights, and yet still quite full of surprises. Next off, and how could I not read this, is What Really Happened in Peru by Cassandra Clare and her friend Sarah Reese Brennan. I think by now there have been so many references to what really happened in Peru that we really wanted to know what really happened in Peru. And no, I'm not going to tell you what really happened in Peru, I'm not going to spoil the story for you, but if I have to say what really happened in Peru one more time... <laughs> Oh god. The ebook is a small compilation of short stories revolving around Magnus and his adventures with Ragnar Fell and his friend Katarina, whatnot. Another warlock in Peru, if you haven't figured. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> And um, a lot of warlock stuff goes down. The stories are really sweet and amiable and kind of sad and sometimes you get to see another side of Magnus Bane. But you could tell that they were not completely written by Cassandra Clare. And they're a nice read and go check them out if you're a fan of Magnus and everything that's glittery. <laughs> Number 5 in April. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. It's the first book in the Chaos Walking series. The book is about a boy named Todd and he's a second generation settler. So some people have decided to leave Earth and go on to another planet called the New World. But the problem of New World is, is that everybody can hear everyone's thoughts. And Todd is told that is because the local inhabitants, the Spackles, have infected them with a germ which has killed off all the female citizens and left the men with their loud thoughts. But one day, Todd meets his mysterious silence and everything changes. The book took me some time to get into, but it turned out to be really great. It's very thought-provoking at some points, and I'm definitely gonna check out the rest of the series. And the last two books that I've read this month are a book point five and book number two in the selection series, The Prince and the Elite. I really don't get this point five book business, but oh well. I've also done a review on the lead, partly also on the selection, so you can also go check that out. A lot of stuff happens and you get to know Aspen and America and Maxon a lot more. 
And since April isn't quite over yet, I'm currently reading The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsen Hamid. Quite sure I'm gonna be able to finish it. It's quite a fast read. This is actually the only physical copy that I have with me right now because all my other books are either at home or ebooks. I am gonna put up a review on this one because I promise and I'm a girl that keeps her promises. So this is it. These are all my April reads. Feel free to join my book club. I have cookies. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can stalk me on Goodreads and see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Miss Susie had a steamboat. Her steamboat had a bell ding ding. Miss Susie went to heaven. Her steamboat went to hello operator. Please give me number nine. And if you disconnect me, I'll chop off your behind refrigerator. There was a piece of glass. Miss Susie sat upon it and broke her little.